I'm excited. Are we telling the truth or are we going to lie? What are we going to do? I got a story to tell. Legends. You two are legends. This film is absolutely incredible. Um, I obviously know who Bon Jovi is. You guys are one of the most famous bands in the world. I grew up on your music. But I, there's a lot in this documentary I just didn't know about the band as a whole. And it really shines a light on that, especially touring now. Um, I saw a lot of parallels between Tom Brady's Man in the Arena and this documentary. Um, and I thought this was absolutely fascinating. John, looking back on Bon Jovi's incredible journey, what motivated you to share this story through Thank You, Good Night, the Bon Jovi story? I knew that the 40th anniversary was coming and um, you know, you're only gonna have a milestone like this once. And if you were to wait until the 50th, who knows you know, what might happen over the course of the next 10 years. So at year 38, I started to think about how can we, you know, mark this occasion. And we began archiving so much that was in the vault and simultaneously um, considered making this documentary. And I did, in fact, see Man in the Arena and Gotham Chopra was my first and only meeting that I had with a director. I thought that he understood the concept of sport, which a team and a band are very similar. And he also had that spiritual aspect because of his family upbringing, which I thought he could relate then to the, the innermost workings of what life is in a band. And Absolutely. so we hit it off at, and I think he delivered on the promise. Absolutely delivered on the promise. Now, Tico, you are one of the best drummers in the world. Now this documentary gives fans a closer look at the band's dynamic. Can you describe what the brotherhood within Bon Jovi means to you? Yeah, I think a lot of it comes from where we grew up. Uh, it's sort of like uh, we're a gang, take on the world. We've always been a, uh, you know, a bunch of guys that just want one goal, and that's really to kick people's ass. So <laughs> it was that was the Jersey etiquette, in my you know, and and we we took that from a lot of different bands growing up, and. Uh, you know, I think we're still there in that kind of attitude. Absolutely. Now, John, this this story gives us an inside look at your process of preparing for shows now um, and kind of the struggle that comes with that. Can you talk about uh, being vulnerable and giving giving us an inside look at that process of touring now? I had no problem being open and honest throughout this filming and the making of the film. Um, all we ever wanted to do was tell the truth. And if anyone thinks that doing what we do is easy, this isn't any different than any other day. It's just that you get to see what life is like behind that curtain. Right. You know, uh, it's it's always hard work to, to be an athlete, to be a, a member of a band, to be a member of a family it takes work. And this just captured the work behind the, 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 the play if you will. Absolutely. Now, uh, one question that they asked John in the documentary, and I'm very curious to get uh, your opinion on this, Tico. Uh, they asked John, uh, what uh, com compare uh, yourself from when you first performed uh, to now, and do you still get the same thrill? So Tico, I'm going to ask you the same question. Um, can you compare yourself when you first joined this band to now, and do you still get that thrill uh, of performing in front of those audiences? Yeah, I mean, when you're younger, Everything is uh, is new. Everything's uh, a challenge, new and uh, and exciting. And you know, and then when you do it for for a lot of years, the thing that keeps me young is actually playing again, playing live, playing with my guys. It's it makes me a kid again. It's the uh, fountain of youth at best, you know. And so that doesn't change. So the, we can still get the the whole secret is to capture that 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 young, fun-loving time that we have together. And playing live now and, and in the studio, it's just, uh, that comes back. It never goes away. Absolutely. Now, uh, John, Bon Jovi has evolved musically over the years. How have you, how have your personal experiences influenced the band's sound and lyrics? I think that, you know, growing up in public, um, you become a, a more prolific writer. You're able to capture moments that are happening in and around your life. It's not just creating rhyme schemes that are moon, June, and spoon, and you know, writing catchy pop hooks. But when you can get deeply personal, the magic really happens when something is so deeply personal that when you hear it, 
you think it's about you and you make those characters about you and that that's sort of the magic of our songwriting and um and i've been able to capture a lot of my own personal memories along the way and people have just related to them incredible now tico the band has experienced many milestones together personally what do you consider the band's greatest achievement the fact that we're still here and <laughs> still doing it uh it, it's like john says it's a it's a it's a road it's a lot of ups and downs it's a family uh and the fact that we can still do great songs i mean a quick little story i'm not much of a, a lyricist or listen to lyrics but when john wrote this record and we put it together and we started listening back and i went i had to call him and tell him man the lyrics are great because they got they got through to me it took 40 years where i'm actually going okay i'm listening to the lyrics <laughs> so uh yeah i think that's a that's a milestone for me yeah, me too <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Now, uh, John, over the years, uh, you've seen the music industry change uh, dra drastically. How has Bon Jovi adapted to those changes while remaining true to your roots? I think that's the integral uh, part of your sentence right there, it, Joe, is that remaining true to who and what we are. Don't chase fads nor fashions because you're always going to be late. And by remaining true to who we are, and we go on this journey now granted people were on the on the train with us for runaway in 1984 may have gotten off along the way others got on the train at that juncture you see so this train keeps rolling and people are allowed to get on it and get off of it and by remaining true to what we are the the people that listen can count on it you know they can count on bon jovi to only tell them their truth we're not trying to, you know, be a K-pop band because that's popular two years ago. It, that, those kind of things would be career mistakes. And we never made those mistakes. Absolutely. Well, look, the song Legendary is out now. And you guys, this new album comes out June 7th, two days after my birthday. So thank you for the birthday gift. You, you guys are the best band in the world. Thank you so much for your time. Absolutely incredible uh, documentary. Fantastic. Thank you so much. I appreciate thank it. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joseph. Legends, thank you. With every decade comes another life's lesson. It's all or nothing. That's why the legacy matters.